I have a quote I love. It's it, no, I think I invented it, but anyway, it says, "As you work the cloth, the cloth works you." I'm a little bit nervous. I think when everybody saw the your Raquel, mm -hmm. you know, they said, oh man, that's beautiful. Excellent. Well, you are going to wow them with what you produce. And I know there's one person mm -hmm. that says, you need to let me know how it went and stuff like that, because she wants to come out. Here. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. And you can always do an advance. But they also want to look at my work. Yes. So I'm nervous. Oh, you'll be fine. No. Yeah. No, I'm confident that your work will be fine. One of the things I think with Marilyn, she has such a passion with what she does, it, it, you almost feel like it's your passion, you know, and she gets you so excited about what she does that you want to do more. What we're going to do is just play with your fabric, and it's stressful for quilters to do this because they have no idea why they're doing it, they have no idea what it's going to become. They don't think they're doing it right, in fact they're pretty sure they're the only ones doing it wrong, <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> And the, the essence is that you use the words without any visuals. I don't know how you come up with that because I was looking at your work and I go, oh my God, she's artistic. <laughs> well, I'm going to launch you the way I launch and you'll see that it's demystified. It's simple. It doesn't look simple doesn't when you look, see no, the quill. It doesn't. You will see next week, one week from now, what you've produced and your, your classmates. No, thank you. I know what I did. I know how to do it. There aren't any rules. There isn't any scary part. There isn't any mystery. There's a lot of diversity. What am I going to do? But you'll have done all of those things. Well, I know when I see your stuff, I'm going, oh, I don't think God, mine's going to look that way. And there's I know, and everybody's expecting back home to Good. see the production. Good. They want to see it, you know. Even that quilting place that I go to, the girls say, you know, after we helped you with yes. this, we want to see this quilt. I don't think I can do this. And I called my girlfriend and I said, there is no way. I said, I was like really getting <laughs> so stressed over. I know, I know. I've seen it. I've seen the morning time. Marilyn has some very unique talents. She does. And I don't think that anyone can really duplicate those. But what we can do is enrich our own talents through her um, creativity her work and her support. And welcome, have you seen your room yet? No, I haven't. Okay, I think no. you're in Renaissance, okay? And um, your quilt mate is in the room next to you in called uh, Whimsy. But it just so happened I went to her booth and I looked at her work and talked to her for a long, long time. She was just such a passionate person, very passionate when she was talking and passionate about what she did. And I just, like, I stayed there for a long time, and I just kept admiring that, that piece. And then she told me that she has retreats and stuff like that. And I says, oh, that's nice. You know, I've never been to one and stuff like that. And I let it go after that, you know, and stuff like that. But I, when I, actually, when I was at, the, uh, at that show, I must have passed her booth like two or three times, and I kept looking at the quilt. <laughs> I was really fascinated. But, uh, and then she sent, us, sent an email that she was having a retreat, and that's why. I'm here. Say you got six paper bags and you went busy and you cut a whole bunch of strips of fabric and you put all your one inch fabrics here, you put all your two inch fabrics here, you put all your whatever, whatever in each bag and then you just started pulling miscellaneously and put them together. It would work with her techniques where typically you would never do that. It's a unique way of blending the fabrics together. I just don't know. I don't know. That's why I'm here. 
you're going to be amazed at what you accomplish. You're going to say, this is it? That's I did it. it! Fabrics have a voice. They're feminine, masculine, whimsy, fun, serious, somber, aggressive. So right now, just close your eyes and imagine, is the light in a split tip on the left or the right? Both of you said on the right, okay? Unless we do it on the other side. Correct. So if we cut around this right now, the light is on the left. Mm -hmm. So we need to actually cut over here. That's all we have to do. That will open up the darker one to the left and the lighter one on the right. When we finish this class, does that mean that when we go home, we'll be able to use our mind to do different things? Or? Yes, you'll know all the techniques. You'll have done them. You'll have fabric representation of them. And you may have to call me and say, now wait a second, what was the difference between this and that? Well, fabric-wise, none. Angle-wise of cutting, the following. And I'll, I'll just give you a little more support. To, mm -hmm. Because you're going to experience so much, yeah. but you'll do it in a very digestible form. My goal, my goal at the end of this class is to take it back to work and to the quilts in place and say, this is what I did. In my mind, I was saying, I said, oh, God, I hope she doesn't think I'm slow and everything. But she treated you like anybody else. You know, she wasn't, you know, like if you didn't know, she would take the time to help you out. Where some teachers, you know, uh, if you're a little bit slower than somebody else, they roll their eyes and all that. And she never did that. You know, she just say, oh, wait a minute, I can show you, you know, and all that, because she has that passion for it. She's a good teacher. Here, I want these students to know this. <laughs> yes. if, if I make a mistake and they catch it, that is called a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> a teacher gotcha. Yeah, a teacher gotcha. <laughs> Absolutely. Did I do good? Yes, you did. Oh, you did. I don't know what blood or sweat came out of you for this. Gives me a lot of that. Oh. Sweat. <laughs> <laughs> no sleep. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is fabulous. She's got a massive scale print right here. I know, I was afraid of that, but I love this it's fabric. It's gorgeous. You said something that you love, and I love Absolutely, this it's gorgeous. And not only that, it's in a position, top and bottom, to be a show-off fabric. So her strata is simply strip sewn together with high contrast. Absolutely, there's nothing. You don't need to add a seam, add a fabric, change a seam, reorganize anything, or trim anything. You have 100% done what you're supposed to. Beautiful. Now, if we were doing a spiral, which these stratas will not be, we're going to make these into fans and then make new strata for the spirals. Spirals are a shifting, so there's going to be this kind of activity. Okay. Where things are appearing to move. But we can only audition so far before we get a shifting and a motion. So, we still have the lines of the strata running this way through the ruler, but everything's moving, not replicated, replicated, replicated. This is beautiful. It passes what I would call all auditions. I've heard a quote before yeah. that says basically, quilters buy fabric in one piece, cut it up, and then sew it back together in one piece. She wants to make sure that you learn, that you learn the technique, and, and she did a great job doing that. Marilyn's techniques definitely allow you to experience, think outside the box you're traditionally thinking in and forces you to do that so that you have a new recognition, new understanding of how fabrics work together. It's marvelous. It just went by so fast and I mean we spent almost all day sewing. I know I did. I was here late. I would stay up late at night and come down early in the morning and just keep on going. Too often, if you just do that kind of take this, take that, take that, it becomes a hodgepodge. It doesn't have a purpose. It doesn't have a design element to it. With Marilyn's technique, you can do that, and it comes out looking wonderful. I can't even, we learned a lot. I mean, we learned a lot of different techniques on how to do fans, um, body parts fronds, uh, leaves, uh, we learned a lot. I mean, I, I don't even, 
I think we might have learned, what, 15, 16, 17 techniques? I tell you, it's a very valuable lesson. I mean, there is, I really hate to leave. <laughs> I want to stay. It's just a very relaxing place. Um, there's good conversation all the time. There's thoughtful teaching during the day. What would I say to someone in one sentence if they want, were thinking of coming? Enjoy it, open your mind, and relax. But you know, you've got to have a love for quilting and sewing in order, and if you love it and you have that passion, you're going to stay up and continue on until you get your project done. It just is marvelous. What do you experience? What do you see when all these colors are put together? A bird? A butterfly? Maybe a snake? Something to put in a garden. It is just fantastic. It will be there. We've taken plenty of notes. We've taken lots of pictures. Um, and all those things refresh your mind when the time comes. And besides, I know Marilyn's at the other end of a phone if I need her. <laughs> she doesn't know that yet, by the way, but anyhow. <laughs> Thank you.